Well, hello everybody. You probably all remember me as the display scaling guy, and I posted this video explaining you how to do it pretty much. So today I found some very interesting stuff when it comes to streaming. You can actually stream H.265 on YouTube. Yeah, I know, I was actually shocked when I found that out, because AMD's default encoder is fucking shit. It, it's ass, like quality on low bitrate is just unacceptable. So now I'm going to show you how to stream H.265 on YouTube. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself OBS Studio 28 or newer. After you download that OBS Studio, install it. I have OBS Portable over here. Remember, you need to have OBS 28 or newer as far as I know. I did not test older versions. So when you open up OBS Studio for the first time, it's probably going to ask you what type of settings you want to apply. I usually cancel that. I don't need it. Now, this is what you're going to have to do. If you go to settings and you go to output, you can see that there is only software, which is the CPU encoding and graphics card encoding, but both of them are X264. So let me show you how to get H.265 encoding. So the first thing we're going to do is go to your YouTube channel. So we're going to go to YouTube. After that boots up, we're going to go create and go live. All right. After this page loads, as you can see, I already did some testing streams and 720p 60 at H.264 was horrible with 6000 bitrate, but H.265 was insane. So this is what you're going to have to do. When you are on your go live page, do you see this stream key? This is where, what you have to change. By default, it's going to stay like this. Default stream key. We don't need that. We need to make the new key. So click on this and then create new stream key. After that, give it a name. We're just going to do H265 tutorial and make sure you change the streaming protocol to HLS. That's it. Created the key. Let it process and there you go. Now, what we need to do is copy the stream key. Just click copy. And now go to your OBS that you downloaded. And now go to settings, go to stream. And as you can see, it says Twitch. And here you have YouTube RTMPS. That's the default YouTube streaming service. We don't need this. We need YouTube HLS. So we're going to click on show all and then scroll all the way down until you find YouTube HLS and then click use stream key and paste the HLS streaming key apply. Now you can set up your recording settings normally for Let's say we're going to do 1080p stream. So we need 1080p canvas. The stream has to be in 1080p resolution and we're going to do 60 FPS. Now audio, this is up to you. It really depends on your own setup, how many sources you want to use and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to output, change output mode to advanced. And now look at this. When you click encoder, you get H.265 encoding. And that's it. Uh, my upload is like 70 megabits. So I'm going to use 6000, which is perfect for my upload speed. Keyframe interval, YouTube recommends two. So I'm going to put it at two. And of course, I'm going to use quality preset for AMD card. NVIDIA can use max quality. And that's pretty much it. After all of this, you're pretty much done. Now you can add scenes. You can add, let's say, display capture. So you can capture your main monitor. You can add some text. Like, let's say, whatever you want to add to your stream, you know. And that's pretty much it. That's how you stream H.265 on YouTube. Now you, all you have to do is just click start streaming and that's it. Optionally, of course, you can change your stream name here when you click edit. You can change the name, visibility, what game you're streaming. You can have a very creative thumbnail like this one, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to stream H.265 on YouTube. Pretty simple, fast, and I hope they help you. See you in the next one.